Hello everybody, welcome to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I am so excited to play this game. I've never played a single second of a Mass Effect game. It's been on my need to play list for as long as I can remember. I don't know anything about it. I don't know any story spoilers. I don't know anything. So we're going to start with Mass Effect 1. Uh, I'm so excited to finally dive into these games. I, I know they're some people's favorite games of all time. Okay. Start. New character. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Okay, so something that I do know about this game, or that I've heard about this game anyway, is that the female Shepherd is the better experience. I don't know why, I've just always heard that. Better voice acting, things like that. So we're going to be making custom female. If you do not like watching uh, created characters be made, I will have, I will just skip to when we start the game. Otherwise, if you do like watching that stuff, I will have an unlisted video uh, linked below, and you can watch all that if you're like me and you like to nerd out on all that stuff. So I've got Juno. She's an Earthborn. Reputation is a soul survivor, and she's an infiltrator. Let's go. Identification confirmed. Okay. I'm gonna leave most of these defaulted. I wanna turn subtitles on. Uh, I am brand new to PC gaming, so I'm gonna leave these at, leave that at normal. Not that I'm good at video games anyway, but all right, here we go. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Take a wild guess. Guess what they called it. Just guess. I bet you can't. Oh, I bet you were wrong. The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. and destination. The relay is hot, requiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Well, there we are. Look at us. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. 
I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Um... Yeah, he might be overreacting a little bit. A little bit of racism going on. You always expect on. the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? <laughs> you made him mad. I'm on my way. Yeah, I heard. I'm going. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <sighs> okay, we are here. Press escape and open the journal to view your updated mission objectives. Journal, okay, prologue, the Normandy. Speak to the captain. Simple enough. Codex, okay. I know these codexes are long, but they're full of information and I plan on reading them. I hope you guys don't mind. But uh, I, I love reading, I love getting into the weeds of the story of these games and so much. I know Bioware is just known for their lengthy codexes, so I'm going to get into this one and see personal history summary profile. Oh, we might know all this stuff already. You were born on Earth, but you never knew your parents. A child of the streets, you learned to live by your wits and guts, surviving in the hidden underbelly of the meg megatropolises of humanity's homeworld. Eager to find a better life, you joined the Alliance military when you came of age. You volunteered for an expedition to Akuz, a lush world on the outskirts of Alliance space that had suddenly dropped out of contact. Arriving on the surface, your patrol found the settlement intact, but no survivors. At nightfall, the Thresher Maws struck, mindless abominations of teeth and tentacles that rose up from beneath the earth. Constant gunfire couldn't drown out the shrieks of your fellow soldiers as you were dragged down to a gruesome death. Fifty marines died on a coup. You were the only one to make it back to the landing zone alive. A monument on the planet commemorates the massacre, a grim reminder of the price humanity must pay as they spread throughout the stars. Okay, that's interesting. So we'll have to pay attention if we ever go to a coup. I'm probably pronouncing that awfully. Humanity and the Systems Alliance. Uh, 2069, Armstrong Outpost at Shackleton Crater becomes the first human settlement on Luna. It is formally founded on July 24th, the 100th anniversary on the first of the first lunar landing. 2103, Lowell City in Eos Chasma becomes the first human settlement on Mars. Uh, 2137, 2137, Eldfell Ashland Energy Corporation demonstrates Helium-3 fuel extraction from the atmosphere of Saturn. Okay, interesting. 2142, construction of Gagrain Station, Jump Zero, begins beyond the orbit of Pluto. That's probably what we went through just a second ago. 2148, prospectors discover the Prothean ruins at Prometh Prometheus Planum on Mars. 149. Translation of Prothean data leads humans to the Karen Mass Relay Systems Alliance founded to coordinated to coordinate exploration and colonization of extrasolar worlds. 2151. A shipping accident at Singapore International Space Port exposes downwind communities 
to containers of dust to form element zero. Alliance begins construction of Arcturus Station. There's a whole lot of these. Maybe we'll get to them a little later. I'm too anxious. But okay, here we go. So people do not like specters. I'm guessing that's what... Oh, dear. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc, so How do I put my gun away? <laughs> oh. As I said, I'm very new to PC gaming. Alright, here we go. Spectre. Talk. Base. Commander Shepard. Space. I was hoping you'd get here first. <laughs> Left click to shoot. Uh, where, where is Captain Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Uh, I guess I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Yeah, uh, what's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Okay, yeah, that's that seems obvious. I already figured that out. I'm We're way smarter than you guys. On Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Okay. Yeah, why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. That's what they discovered on Mars, right? Remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Um, yeah. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon can't say I disagree. Relations with the council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. Ah, we were sure pronouncing it right. will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Okay, um... What do you think there, Cap? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. The Alliance must We're be counting. humans. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. 
but everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Hey, what about Eden Prime? I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Okay, so now we, will, <clears throat> now we know a little bit more about Eden Prime. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Yeah, what... What wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. Boy. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Um... Nothing else to investigate. Okay, I'm I'm ready. Let's Just go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Uh oh. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold of 38.5 status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area just us take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Oh, of course. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. All right. Understood. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secured, Commander. Okay, here we go. Don't worry, they're harmless. 
Something tells me they are not. Oh God, what happened here? Ooh. Old left shift to switch weapons for your squad. What? Use left mouse button to fire. Sustained fire causes weapons to overheat. Right mouse button to aim. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's going well. Oh, here we go. Overload, sabotage. Okay, these are things that I don't know yet. Is this my sniper? Yeah. Okay. Let's stick with pistol for now. Oh, Jenkins. Jenkins, you all right, buddy? Oh no. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. We got Alenko. Yeah, let's go, Alenko. Uh, Metagel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omnigel can be used to bypass decryption and electronics challenges. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. Press V to use Metagel to heal your squad. I don't think we need to need it heal, but okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here, As you gain levels, use oh, the squad things. screen to improve your I'm gonna check it out. team's abilities. The squad screen lets you view your team's talents, mouse over talent or its rank to view it. Click on a talent to spend a talent point to gain a rank in it. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. So pistols, sniper rifles. So these are... Okay, do I have anything yet? Oh, I have three points. Um... Guess we learn, uh... Uh, we can use a dis decryption skill. That's 50 damage. Okay, I kinda like that. Let's use one more. Let's just throw in electronics. May as well. This 50 damage in a 6 meter radius. So that attacks their shields. So is that done? Is that done now? This guy. Okay, he has two. He can throw. Throws enemies away from the caster with a force of 600 newtons. It sure is a lot of newtons. What are the pluses do? Okay. Decryption. So that's the thing I just did. First aid might be good. Restores 40 health. Um, okay. Did I click that one? All right. Okay, cool. So that's that's stuck, right? Yeah. All right. Let's get back to it. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. I don't. I hope I don't miss anything. K 
Okay, use left shift to issue orders to your squad or use Z, attack your target. Q or E, have a specific quad squad mate. Move to a point. Q or E to send a squad mate to head. So you call him back. Get up there. Where are you going? There, okay. Sensitivity might be a little too high. We'll see how it goes. Is that me? No, it's not me. Changed outfits. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Better help her. Oh, that's my friend, sorry. Got him. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. No problem, Ashley. I am gonna go in here and mouse sensitivity. I'm gonna turn it down. Just a bit. That might be a little nicer. Okay, I thought I saw an open crate. Command? Over right here. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Yeah, are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You abandoned them? That seems very harsh. Uh, yeah, don't don't blame yourself. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't the Geth. been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Yeah, come with us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. So about these Geth. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Okay. Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. 
I sure hope so. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. All right, Williams. Let's go. Move out. Yeah, I'll move out. There you go. All right, I'll tell you what, everybody. Um, we're going to stop this one here. Okay, we'll go in there. Uh, when we come back, we will add some of Ashley Williams uh, level up points. And then we'll go see if we can find this beacon. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. See you next time.